Harold Graham is on the brink of a world title challenge, and that really is still the case. But rather than wait for the likes of Iron Barkley or Juan Roldan, Harold keeps fighting and he keeps taking risks. Tonight at Wembley, he puts his European middleweight title at risk against Sumbu Kalembe, a tough Italian-based opponent from Zaire. A big crowd for this Barrett Duff promotion at the Wembley Arena, all hoping that tonight we'll see the determined, aggressive Bomber Graham of recent months. Sugar Ray Leonard. And certainly that number one position is right on the line here tonight at Wembley. Challenger Sambu Kalambe. Orthodox leads with his left. 31 years old. Making his second attempt. Kalambe to win this title. And feeling the sting from Graham in the opening second. Callumbo's been around for many years and fought some good men and beaten one or two of them too. Graham wearing a very natty pair of trunks and it wouldn't look out of place on a Florida beach. First fight since January. Making the second defense of this European title. And Graham has made an extremely positive start to this. throwing one or two punches that uh, signify could be dangerous. He's got a quick looping right hand that Graham will need to watch. Well, so this for Calibre, 31 he may be, but uh, he looks extremely fit. Not an ounce of surplus weight on him. Graham will need to keep this man under very careful control. That's a 
good opening round. That was brisk, it was fast, had a lot of quality in it, and good boxing. And uh, if Graham didn't know it before, he knows now that he's got a, a tricky and difficult and strong-looking opponent against him here. This is not going to be easy. So a very interesting start to this fight. Graham in the white trunks, Callum Bay the challenger. And enough evidence from Callum Bay already to show that uh, Graham might have to go a long way to win this. And will have to box at his best, I think, to win it. Callum Bay can flip that left hand into the face of Graham because Graham's got a well-deserved reputation as being one of the master boxers in the world today and not a man who gets caught easily and yet Callum Bay's popping that left hand out all the time and it's uh, finding Graham's face and the right hand following up is finding him difficult man to land a solid punch on. Graham's reaching for him and falling short. Oh, beautifully done. Lovely little counter punch there by Graham. Just as Callum Bay thought he had him and he moved in and there was one more to come. And that is an indication of the speed of reaction of Graham. And that will be a significant little point in this fight. A little bit of extra class produced there by Graham. The very moment he needed it. punches to the head. Very much more aggressive ground than we're sometimes accustomed to seeing, but I think he needs to be. Because you know, he really does have to get on top of this man. again. Occasionally moving into the orthodox position, putting the left foot forward instead of the right. Trying anything. Uh, 
knee came up there. And Louis Michel, the French referee, has a quiet word with him. Again, that right hand over the top from Calambo finds the target on the head of Graham. One or two marks around the eyes of Graham. And this is round six. We're coming up to the halfway stage of the scheduled 12 rounds. And it's now very apparent that Graham is going to have to work extremely hard to win this. into the face of his challenger. I'm beginning to breathe a bit hard now. The mouth coming open. They've gone at a tremendous pace for middleweights. And the other man's moving forward now for the first time in this fight. is beginning to look like the hardest fight Graham's ever had. Calambe takes a deep breath before they get to work again. Amore. and the two have fought this at a remarkable pace it would be surprising if uh, it didn't get a little sloppy at times and also we're coming into the crucial stages now I think there's a cut on the right eye of Calambe I think he's cut on the right eyebrow and indeed he is well that will give Graham a great deal of encouragement One of the first signs of vulnerability we've seen on this challenger. 31 years old. It's not bleeding very much, but it's certainly cut. Calambo's right hand, not quite so potent anymore. Maybe the pace is getting to him. Or is he just taking a breather, maybe? better round for Graham, in fact it's been one of the best rounds he's had. He's seen the blood on the face of Calambe and that's encouraged him. turns away quickly with a, a more confident look. That's the first round for some time that he's really been the master. And uh, now this injury on the right eye of Calambe, it's not a serious wound yet, but it's in a very vulnerable position. A 
on that swap stick. Dabbed in uh, one in 1,000 adrenaline, which is the only thing you're allowed to use to staunch the flow of blood. That's applied there over and over again to try to keep the blood from flowing. And that little mark underneath the left eye of Graham still giving the corner some cause for concern. But that's far less serious. Seconds out, round 10. Three rounds left. Graham very much showing the signs of battle on his face. Callum Bay perhaps not quite so much, but what he's got is in a worse position. Throwing so many punches now, you'll notice. In the end, a fight like this comes down sometimes to age, inevitably to fitness. Calambe is finally just beginning to lose heart. He's tried so hard, and at times he's looked capable of beating Graham, but he hasn't done it. And now perhaps he's beginning to feel he's not going to do it. seen from Calambo for some time Not coming out nearly so often last two runs and been good ones for Graham and they came at a time when the going was noticeably tough for him and he's had two reasonable rounds there in a row which may now be just putting him out in front but again I wouldn't think there's all that much in it born in Nottingham the son of a Jamaican lay preacher just to fit carpets at one time for a living. You'll never have to do that again. And there's a good man at uh, doing charitable work, and he's done a lot of work on behalf of underprivileged children. Calumbay, the challenger, 31 years old. The African who's taken Italian citizenship, making his second attempt to win this European middleweight title and making a very good attempt to win it indeed. But his best moments may have gone unless he has something 
still to produce with which to start a ground. again from Colombo. One of the disturbing things about this fight from Graham's point of view is how easily he's been hit with that right. And uh, that doesn't bode well for any attempt to win the world title. And Graham drawing on his superb fitness to make the going fast, even in these closing minutes. Backing his man up, as he was doing in the early stages of this fight. Trying to keep him off balance and never allow him to get set to throw the counters. Whether either man could now mount a really big punch is doubtful. They've expended so much strength in getting through these 11 rounds. But that's a good punch from Graham, a left hook. Callumbay had to scuttle away in order to avoid another one. He's going to have a lot of bruising on his face tomorrow. And uh, he's come out of that uh, quite usefully at that last round, Graham. He's piled the pressure on again, and although he took a few, I think he handed out rather more than he gave. And so we now approach the last three minutes of a fight that's been a real test for Graham from a capable, strong and game opponent who's kept going all the way through and has always threatened to do something dangerous. And indeed, in the early, uh, in the middle stages of this fight, he was so dangerous that at one time I thought he might just beat Graham. I don't think he's going to beat Graham now. On the other hand, I don't think Graham's going to win it by a huge margin either. the champion trotting to the centre of the ring, Harold Graham in the white trunks, Sambu Kalambe, born in Zaya, now an Italian citizen, making his second attempt to win this title, the European Middleweight Championship. The fight that Graham has to win to maintain credibility as a leading contender, and Graham is badly cut. Graham is very badly cut on the right eye. At the start of the final round, he suddenly sprung a leak over the right eye. Look at that. And it's just as well for him that it is the 12th and final round, because if that had happened earlier, it might have been all over for him. As it is, he's going to have a problem here. What a desperately bad thing to happen to him in the closing moments. close to the end of the fight and I don't think the referee unless it got much worse I don't think the referee would call it off or have a doctor call it off at so late a stage but you never know so these are desperate moments indeed for Harold Graham Oh, he's 
Scott Graham with a right. The right that always threatened has found him at the finish. Can you believe it? He's almost out on his feet. He's getting his gloves up to convince the referee he's OK. And now he's got to run for cover. And he's pushed Calumbo to the floor. No punch. And Graham now has to try to survive. Cut over the right eye. Badly hurt by the right hand. And the man in front of him is going for the finish. And he might just get it. The whole of Graham's world suddenly explodes. Just over half a minute to go. Can Graham survive? The boxing wits are coming back. But one more right hand, like he's already taken, might be the finish. Hanging on for dear life, Graham. The hardest fight he's ever had. The bell coming up. Ten seconds to go. And Graham tries to get back into it as the bell goes. And the question is, has he done enough to keep the title? I had him ahead, but not by a long way, going into the final round. And then suddenly, this disaster swept over him. And so it's down to the judges for us to find out whether Graham is still the champion of Europe and whether he will maintain his position as a creditable challenger for the world title. Now then, let's have another look at the punch that almost destroyed everything Graham had built up over eight and a half years. That was the one. It was the same wicked scimitar of a punch from the right that had been threatening him all night long. And look what it did to him. He didn't actually go down, but he was out on his feet for about 10 seconds. There it is again. A curving, vicious right. And how he stood up, I don't know. But somehow his legs held him up. Well, ladies and gentlemen, Here's the decision. The decision is unanimous. Judge... Michael, the referee Louis Michael scores the contest. Callum Bay 115 points, Graham 114. Just Hank Adrian scores the contest, Graham. Uh, Callum Bay 116 points, Graham 115. And one point again. But Graham has lost his Andrew title. And Judge Juan Garcia Serrano scores the contest. Columbia, 116 points, Graham, 113. The winner the and point, new three European by the champion, champion. And Callum Bay is the new European Columbia. middleweight champion. And Graham has lost the first fight of his professional career after 38 successive wins in eight and a half years. Suddenly, the 100% record is destroyed, but much, much more important than that. His title has gone, and with it, has gone his chance to fight for the World Championship. Harold, yes, that's a desperately bad night for you. What happened? Um, he was there all the time. Uh, I thought I was boxing OK. Uh, he kept rushing on. Couldn't get the, quite the combinations I wanted from it on the jabbing. But there you go. He so, uh, was a game fella. But... Gotta come across sometimes. Now you got your eye cut at the finish, and then suddenly the right hand caught you. That that right hand had been uh, a bit of a threat to you all night long, hadn't it? Yeah, he kept, here it uh, is again. Yeah. Caught me with that. There it is. I was amazed you didn't go down because the old legs almost gave way. Yeah, well, he popped the he put uh, the fist on my chin, caught me, sent my head back, but I took it well. But there he goes. He's a game fella. Right hand over. But I, th I thought I was having got him on the jab now and again. There it is again. Yeah. That little curving right. He was throwing that all night long. And I must say, he did catch you a few times with it earlier. He did, yeah. Yeah. But uh, it didn't hurt much. As 
as it was. It just that it caught me. What did you think about? How did you think it stood when you went into the last round? Did you think you were well ahead or just ahead? No, well, I, I thought I was just ahead on point. But there you go, it's a game fella. Uh, I did what I had to do at that time. But there you go, it's disappointing for me. You agree with the decision? I mean, you've taken it very well. Well, I thought I thought it was close, but uh, I thought I probably just nicked it by a couple of points. It was a game fella, as I say, and he got the decision. A disastrous result, though, for Harold Graham. Ironically, in his first contest outside the direct influence of his former trainer, Brendan Ingle, who was ringside tonight, and Ingle had this to say afterwards, that's nine years down the drain. Graham is a boxer, and they've tried to turn him into a fighter. I've never seen him box so badly. He was boxing an old man, an old man beat him, and I'm sick for him. And I think that goes for all of us. Well, also on tonight's bill, British and Commonwealth...